Hello, I'm Scotty. Hey, I'm Melinda, and we're Simple Life Big Adventures. It is December the 26th, 2019, and we are on Woods, Woods, Woods Reservoir Lake near Arnold Air Force Base, Tennessee. The reservoir was uh, finished in 1952. It was uh, created for the Air Force Base here at Tallahoma, Tennessee for the cooling systems because they do a lot of um, testing of engines, uh, jet engines, rocket engines, stuff like that, and they needed the water source for cooling. So it was created by the Army of Co the Corps of Engineers, mm -hmm. specifically for Arnold Air Force Base. It's open to the public. It's a lot of fishing that goes on on woods. Yes, uh, smallmouth, largemouth, uh, good crappie fishing, and um, catfish. Um, what is the depth? Isn't it like most spots are not over three feet deep or something like that? It's not very deep. No. Um, no. Just in the river channel, the greatest depth is 50 foot, and that is at the dam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, directly behind me is the old Franklin County Beach. As you can see, it's all grown up now. But in the during the 70s and 80s, it was a gently rolling, sloped hill. It was a grassed over, cut, trimmed up nicely. Uh, had some sand out there, and uh, it was a beautiful beach back in the 70s and 80s. But they've let it grown up. Uh, they, they didn't want to be out here so many more. There's pollution from uh, mm -hmm. the Air Force Base. I don't right. know if that had anything to do with it. And they encourage you not to eat mm -hmm. the catfish out here because of uh, the pollution from the Air Force Base. And directly in front of us is Elder Island. So we are going to float around Elder Island, uh, see if we can see any birds. Uh, Woods Reservoir is a migratory stop for many birds, and we are specifically looking for the loon. Mm. Um, we first learned of the loon in uh, on Isle Royal in National Park in Michigan. It quickly became our favorite bird. And it became our favorite bird. And this is a migratory stop. I'm not sure if it's the right time of year, but we're hoping to maybe hear the loon we hopefully. had some spare time that we needed to waste and um melinda needed a break from editing <laughs> video so we decided we'd go out here for a peaceful float on the water and uh, do some bird watching on the other side of elder island is another tiny island that the migratory yes. birds specifically go to for um during their migration so we hope to see something interesting over there all right we got elder island behind me beach in front of me, the old Franklin County beach in front of me, and uh, back a long time ago they would just walk directly from the beach across to the, uh, the island and the water only got maybe three or four foot deep, you know, depending on you know, the lake levels, but uh, you could easily walk across over to the island. So here we go. See right here, maybe three foot deep right here. Alright guys, we're on Elder Island now. Over there, uh, growing up here over there is the old Franklin County Beach that I was talking about. It was a, a green hillside that sloped down to the water. And, uh, we're going to explore Elder Island a little bit. Before we do that, I'd like to introduce you to our feel free lures. Uh, they're fishing kayaks, made by feel free, 11 and a half feet. We've had a lot of fun on them. Hey, and just for the record, I did just hear a loon. He made his lonesome call, calling for a friend to see if there was anyone else here. Um, we may not spot one, but I did just hear one, so hopefully we can record that sound before the evening's up. Hope we don't find any ticks today. <laughs> it's still been too warm in Tennessee. Everything thinks it's spring. In the distance behind me is uh, Elder Island. Right next to me is another little island just north of the Elder Island. I don't think it has a name, but this is where uh, a lot of migratory birds stop and visit for some reason or another. I'm not sure why. And not so much on Elder Island though, but 
definitely this island, but there's a ridge that you could actually walk across if you wanted to. Water gets about chest deep all the way from Elder Island back here directly to this island. All right, here we are on the migratory bird island. Uh, looks like we've got several different kind of nests that have been used over the season in here. I just heard another loon. I hope that captured on my camera. See all the decoy ducks out on the water. All right, we got a uh, Elder Island out here. We got the tiny island just north of here. And we're just sitting in the middle of both of them. We're not, not halfway in between, but we are pretty close to being halfway in between. Just want to show you how deep the water is here. like maybe two and a half foot deep out here. You can literally walk from this island behind me to the small tiny island in front of me. We saw several birds today, but we did not see the elusive loon. We did hear it several times, so didn't we? I'm hoping we got a little audio on that bird. We never know. It was a nice, peaceful day out here on the water. It's so beautiful. All the boat traffic is gone. Very relaxing, too. Yeah. I think we both need a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this will probably be the last float of the year for us. Oh, yeah, but again. I don't think we'll probably make it out of here. So. Maybe. Zip. You're right. <laughs> you never know, right? <laughs> All right. So whether we're was there more you were gonna say? Okay. All right. Um, so whether we're coming to you from the water or from the trails or from the RV, we're gonna keep bringing you our adventures. Hit that subscribe button below. <laughs>